In this section we'll be building microservice using Spring Boot and Cloud. So this is time for Spring Boot. So we will be creating a Spring Boot application. We will be integrating that with Spring that we already created and we will be testing our Spring Boot application. And this is a first video of this section and we'll be creating microservice in Spring Boot. We will be creating runner class that this is an entry point for every Spring Boot application. We'll plug controllers and services together and we're starting Spring Boot application with the embedded Jetty container. Every Spring application needs to have a main method defined. This is an entry point for every Spring microservice. We need to define an application that is just a simple Java class and we need to specify it as Spring Boot application. That annotation will create everything for us. So if we will specify that this is a Spring Boot application, it will try to find a main method in that class and run that method if there is any. And also it will scan through all files in our package. So we can see that there is a lot of files here and every class that is annotated with component annotation like service controller components and other Spring annotation or repository will be created by Spring and injected in proper places. So let's, for example, let's get back to defining a controller. We created a controller that is a REST controller and it will be scanned by Spring and it will be injected and created into the Spring application, Spring Boot application. We also have setting that is a component. It also will be injected. We also have our flight booking service that we defined at the beginning of this course. And this is a component and it also will be injected in our application. We need to define a Spring main method and it should execute run method. So to the Spring application class, static run method, we are passing our packed application class because this is class of our Spring Boot application. And it will create our application. This is good practice also to define here in that application class beans that will be injected to the other places in our code. So we are in creating REST template here. So this is bean for executing HTTP calls to some external services. Last thing that we need to do is to start actual start Spring Boot microservice. So let's start it. And as we remember from the previous video about the 12 factor application, this is very important that our microservice will have an embedded container. So we can take that jar and run it everywhere. And because this is a class with a main method, we can run it from anywhere where Java is installed and we don't need to know anything about that application. We just need to start a main method and everything will start up. So we can see in our logs that our Spring application started on the port 8080. And as we remember from previous video, we implemented our web sockets and right now they are available through the Spring Boot application. And other things that we created also are available here. So we can, for example, list or travels that are in our system. Right now there is no travels, but we can list them or even create one, as we remember.